Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new series, we are going to cover another programming language that allows you to create some 2D games like this without writing any line of code. We are going to drag and drop some blocks like these to create a game like this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So to use Scratch, you have two options. You could go online and create an account then you can start creating your own games using the create button or you could download it on your desktop by going all the way down and here we have the download option as you can see we can download it for Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS or even Android we can download it directly using this link or we can get it from the Microsoft Store then you can run the executable file so that you can install it and it's really simple once you open it up from your desktop it is called Scratch 3 you will see the simple interface so it allows you to create 2d games only by default we have this cat 2d sprite so this is like the game view in unity to test the game we can click on this button it is called flag if you go down you will get all of the objects in the scene or in the game view like this cat sprite to add a new object we have this button you could upload your own from the computer or we can use one of the default sprites like these we have a bear or we can use the ball then you can drag this object anywhere you want using the left mouse button the background is completely white to change it we have this option choose a backdrop let's click on it you could use the default ones like the blue sky and there you go if you have used unity before each object has some properties like the scale, the position in the scene and these options are located under the game view for example if you want to change the ball scale we have the size I'm gonna set it to 50 and hit enter now it is smaller we could also drag it to change the XY values or we can set a simple value from here like 00, zero which is the center of the screen the same thing applies for the cat let's move it down and the last thing that you have to know about is how to program or how to add a logic to this game for example we want to move this cat left and right using the arrow keys and to do that we have these blocks under the code section and the first block that we want to use for our cat is to check whether we have pressed the start button to start the game and it is under events it is called one flag clicked which means when we start our level in such case we can move our cat forward or left and right and to do that we need to continuously check for the arrows that's why we have to add some kind of a loop that is called over and over again it is under controls or we can scroll down and it is this one forever to check forever now when the flag is clicked we will continuously check for the inputs by going to the control and use if statement so if we are holding the right arrow and these inputs are located under sensing we want to check for a key if it's pressed let's drag it so if the right arrow is pressed then we need to move our cat along the x-axis we are going to take one of these blocks it is under motion and we want to change the x by a certain value like 10 let's stop our game and hit the flag button as you can see we can move the cat to the right side but we can't go to the left side because we haven't added that to do that we will add another if statement and check for the left arrow luckily we can duplicate some blocks like this one using right click and duplicate then we can put it under here to check for the left arrow by selecting it from this menu in such case we will move the character or change the x by minus 10 to go to the left side let's test again and there you go we can move our cat left and right using the left and right arrow keys so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and if you want me to create a specific 2d game using this scratch program make sure to write it under the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one